Hi, I'm Chris Swain and I'm the Technical Service Manager for MGK and today we're going to be calculating how to get the final concentration of Nigar concentrate. Now this is a little bit different from what we've done in the past. Before we did our calculations with fluid ounces. Nigar is actually a milliliter so it makes it a little more challenging to get the final concentration. So here's what we're going to do. I've never done this with this product so hopefully this calculation comes up right. But we know we've got 4 mils, 8 mils, and 12 mils. We already know at the low rate 4 mils is going to be equal to 0.01. This is 0.02. And that's 0.03%. So this, we know this. So what's, what's interesting here is, if you remember uh, the formula we had before, we could have the percent active ingredient, times the number of ounces, we're just going to change this to milliliters instead of ounces now because this product it's in milliliters and not ounces. We're still going to use the finished gallon and here is where we, we're not going to use 128 because there's not 128. There's actually 3,785.4 milliliters in a gallon. We're going to drop the point four because we really don't need to round up. So if we do this calculation, all we're doing Let's change this number because this is how many milliliters are in a gallon. If we pull out in this number, we should come out to 0.02%. So let's, let's see if that's the case. So we're going to say, we know that uh, NIGAR, if we look at the label, it's 10%. So our active for NIGAR is actually 10%. So we'll plug in our 10%. Now where we were once using one ounce or maybe half an ounce, we're going to put in 8 milliliters because that's what's on the label. So let's put it in eight. We're still going to use one finished gallon. And here, we're going to plug this number in because this is how many milliliters is a, a gallon. So let's do the math and see if we come up with 0.02%. So, 10 times 8. Hmm, we'll say that's 80. Now, 3,785, what well, we know, if it's multiplied times 1, that should probably give us 3,785. And we're going we're gonna to divide 80 by 3,785 and see what we come up with. So we get 3, actually 80, divided by 3,785 gives you 0.02%. actually come out to this number. So this formula does work. Even if you have milliliters, you just have to change how many milliliters are in one gallon, and it works. And that is how you calculate the final concentration in milliliters for Nygaard concentration.